Hi, I hope uh, I'm seated okay and you can see me. Well, I'm continuing to have an ongoing problem with uh, a survival equipment company in the United States. Their name is Industrial Revolution. Um, they were known until November 1st, 2010 as UCO Corporation. They're in Redmond, Washington, USA. I had a guest here last year for a couple of months who broke something, which um, this is a Swiss Army candle lantern. I was able to get three of these years ago, uh, and he broke one. Uh, and I had warned him it's fragile, uh, it's irreplaceable. I haven't been able to find these anywhere. These are Swiss Army candle lanterns. You put a tea light candle in them. They light and heat a room for a whole night, really, for hours. If there's wind, you take the top off. See, they are unstable. If, you, if there's wind, you take the top off and, and you sit it down on something. Uh, excuse me, you, uh, you leave the top on and then you, you can hang it or set it down. But if it's indoors and it's calm, you should uh, take the top off because it tends to smother the candle. As the candle uh, burns down more, you can put the lead, lid on and it does generate extra heat. These are very important here. Um, this apartment was built in 1967 and uh, it, it, there are no radiators. We have no control over the heat. Uh, there are tubes of hot water in the ceiling and the floor, so we can't put in ceiling fixtures or a ceiling fan or anything. Um, it's called chauffage plafond sol. Um, it's kind of gone out of style. I like it, you know. The, the tiles on the bathroom floor are nice and warm. <laughs> uh, and in the toilet, you know, toilets are separate from the bathroom. And in France. Um, uh, the French consider them unhealthy, bad for the circulation, but they consider almost everything unhealthy. Uh, they consider air conditioning unhealthy, ice in drinks unhealthy. Uh, they consider uh, having wet hair, going out with damp hair unhealthy. Uh, really, you know. They're, they're like really locked into a 19th century mentality. So I've been writing to the Better Business Bureau of, uh, it says Better Business Bureau serving Alaska, Oregon, and Western Washington. And they are in DuPont, Washington. And uh, snail mail has been very slow this year. Uh, also, a lot of the mail I've been sending packages to the United States have gone missing. They've been stolen. This started about two, three years ago, even registered and insured. And I found out that if you insure something for perhaps 350 euros, they'll take your money, but there are international limits, so you'll perhaps only get, you know, 75 euros or, or something back, or even 75 dollars, I don't remember. It's very, it's very frustrating. I think, um, I think America's really falling apart. <coughs> so I looked, um, around here for another candle lantern. I really need them here uh, and out in the country. We have none out in the country. I need two for this apartment minimum and at least one for out in the country. The bedrooms which are upstairs uh, are very cold in the winter and um, here my kitchen is very cold and drafty. I can't get bread to rise for example uh, unless I burn the candle lantern. Um, during the winter, the, back, the main bedroom, the large bedroom, is very cold. Um, there, it's, it's just great. You can, it takes about 20 minutes. You can heat a whole room with these with one tea light candle, and it goes for hours. So anyway, my clumsy guest um, located a website by what was then UCO Corporation on the Internet, and uh, we sent a postal mandate in October of 2010 uh, a follow-up months later indicated that somebody there had cashed it in December of 2010, but they denied ever receiving it. Perhaps an employee stole it or whatever. I don't care. It's not my problem. I started asking pretty quickly, you know, where's my merchandise? I had spoke to the manager, Steve, on the phone. He quoted a price for me, you know, and uh, so now Steve, since then, I sent him some emails and there was no response and I asked him why didn't you respond. He said, well, we didn't like the attitude of your emails. You know, I told him I'm a journalist 
and that I was writing about survival equipment for a magazine and uh, that I was going to re review his company disfavorably. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, he should have at least answered my emails. So eventually I took it to the uh, Better Business Bureau. And over a period of time, th he's lied. He's just lied and lied. He said, well, we haven't been UCO Corporation for six years. Well, on the Internet, on their website, they, they were UCO Corporation in October of 2010. Right after that, it said their website said Industrial Revolution, formerly UCO Corporation. Also, he has indicated that they've never sold retail. And yet, on their website, it indicated that they sold retail. I was charged shipping costs to Europe. And um, I spoke to him on the phone. And he didn't say, you can't have a replacement, you know? Uh, so um, I've written to the uh, Better Business Bureau. And uh, I've stated that I'm unhappy. Um, Finally, they said, well, we'll send her, well, although we didn't get the money, somebody there did. Uh, we will send her uh, one, and I think a little folding one, I think he said. And uh, But we can't ship to Europe, which is weird. It's really weird. I mean, why can't you ship to Europe? You were able to ship to Europe when I spoke to you in October of 2010. Okay, so... I gave him the, and he said, well, I can send it to your boyfriend. That guy who was here is not my boyfriend. I was pretty annoyed by that. That was pretty impertinent. <coughs> so I corrected him on that. I said, no, that, that guy's hopeless. Uh, I don't even know where he is. He's, he's an idiot. Um, I found a friend in the United States who was willing to receive the package for me. I sent that friend $30. Um, to forward it to me. I've ended up spending more than a hundred dollars on trying to just get a replacement mini candle lantern. So, you know, uh, the last thing, um, the last thing that they said to the Better Business Bureau in late May was, lanterns were sent as a courtesy to her friend in the U.S. per instructions received um, with a UPS tracking number. We have never received any payment from this woman. We have not sold retail on our website and have not been known as UCO for over six years. That's a lie. It's not only capitalism fail. You know, you try to buy American, you're an American abroad, especially when you can't find what you want over here, of course. Um, but these people lie. So I would say do not use them. Industrial Revolution of Redmond, Washington, formerly UCO Corporation. I have other videos up about this if, if you really care, if you want to know more. If you have <coughs> some sort of related video response, I'd love to see it. Um, I have a, a Capitalism Fail uh, video up. I tried to order a copy of the book Modern Women by the Museum of Modern Art uh, for my mother uh, in the States for her birthday this year. She really wanted the book. I'm in the book. I had my second group show at MoMA uh, last, last June. And uh, I looked on their website and I, I saw the price and the shipping and the gift wrapping and everything. I sent them a Chase check and they sent it back. Said we don't accept checks. It doesn't say that on their website. And it's, it's just so weird, you know. It's a New York City Chase Bank check for the Museum of Modern Art in New York. You know, they say there's a recession going on. I mean, I don't get it. Thank you for listening. Please rate, comment, share, subscribe. I do two channels on YouTube, Slobo Motion and Cute Cat Faith. And over on Daily Motion, I have some different things, videos and slideshows, grouped under Lisa Falour. That's all one word. And my website is cutecatfaith.com. Thank you. Bye.